What's up everyone? Don't mind the mess. We are cleaning because we just got done doing some projects in the shop. But the main project we just got done with is my ninth gen. It is idling. And I figured out the overheating issue. We're having some thermostat issues. Um, shout out to V8 Bait on TikTok. He helped me out. All right, so we had a little issues um, while we were running through it. But so far the only thing, we actually forgot to tighten the um, compressor on the turbo. So we had to snug that up. And uh, everything else is doing good though. It's What's up everyone? So far so good. Um, we actually just had to go grab some ethanol, but for the most part, everything's going as it should. Dial in the fuel charts for uh, idle, and then uh, start doing some partial driving around town. And we just go from there, so. Well, everyone, uh, oh, threw a rod. Half of the blocks on top of number four. Yeah. Well, you know what they say. Hey, you uh, you never lose. You either learn or get knocked or the you, fuck down. Yeah, or you win. Yes, it's the same thing. You know, so. All right, so here we go. Let's see if we can get a good angle on there. I'm sure this is good. Let me know what you guys see. If there's a fucking hole in it, that's what I'm talking about. Overall, pretty crazy. Um explosion because that's what I'm calling that shit. That was crazy. Yeah, the whole street was on fire. Like, Dude, this car almost burnt down like dead ass. We were this close to never having to put an engine in this car. Damn it. <laughs> Should have pushed it out in the street. But hey, that's the name of the game. And uh, yeah, I know if you know me and Levi and like are friends with us and cool with us, yeah, we probably should have just taken it to the tuner. Yeah. But if you know us that well, you know it. <laughs> We're, We're kind of <laughs> dumb. On to the next engine, I guess. Number four? This is, the next one will be number three. So me and Levi decided we're just gonna start ripping into it and uh, hopefully have this thing. We gotta clear a spot off in the shop. We're kinda in the middle of like spring cleaning, even though we're like, it's August. Yeah, whatever, but. Um, but we gotta clear a spot off and then we're gonna start ripping it apart. It's really, honestly, with the two of us at it, it's gonna be like a day. Finding an engine is gonna be the longest battle. The next day, it's a little cold uh, in Ohio right now. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I just want to clarify. I like probably, it was probably in the tune. You know, I'm not afraid to admit where I mess up. The thing is I'm scrubbing through the data log and I don't notice anything that's really terrible. Um, no knock, timing was super conservative. I mean, I was just getting started with the tune. Um, we weren't in VTEC. Um, AFRs were doing what they were supposed to do. On what they were, we reached out a little bit, but not anything like, not anything crazy. I mean, it shouldn't have done that. That's crazy. So I keep going through the tune. I've gone through it a couple times and I just don't see anything. So I don't know. But if it was me, I'm willing to accept it because I know this was dumb trying to tune my own stuff. But I want to learn, so whatever. All right, so uh, I'm kind of just going to be going at this. I actually spilt my toolbox like two days ago, so everything's kind of everywhere. But I just want to <clears throat> update everyone, give you a better look at what the hell happened. Um, yeah, shot a rod straight out the bottom. What's up guys? We got a deal looking to us for a 9th gen K24 Z7. That also has a Z7 in it. Uh, but uh, I kind of want to, that's kind of like, it's actually kind of nice. And I don't want to take from that when there's one literally up the road pulled for 
500 bucks. Yeah. It's like, you can't beat that. I mean, we'll see. We know the guy, kinda. All right, everyone. So everyone uh, kind of makes fun of me for buying AutoZone, but uh, we just warranted out a starter that was literally in pieces because the rod came out and hit the starter. Smoked um, it. Sm half. Like it was, oh, yeah. Bro. And we warranted it out. So got a brand new starter for this mug. All right, everyone. We got the ultimate haul for a boosted J24. <laughs> Super tech uh, oil. oil. Fram filter. <laughs> Shit, so, I'm a gre degreaser. Greaser! Say <laughs> <Single> yeah. bonus <laughs> boy. <laughs> no, nah, so on a real note, uh, we don't want to put any expensive oil in this thing because we don't even know if it runs. So yeah. we're going to see if it runs. It's a Z7. I mean, I got it for 500 bucks, so I can't complain. If you know how much these go for, it's kind of crazy. This is a wild kitten we found on the walk of shame home after we blew it up. So he's kind of just followed us. I don't know kind of weird but uh yeah this is it we're gonna degrease it and wash it clean it up probably reseal the pan pretty much everything that needs sealed just reseal it and um get rid of some of these nasty oil leaks and all right there she is so yeah definitely did not like 10 pounds of boost pissing it sideways in the bore that's crazy it takes pointing towards the timing um came out the front the rod did and hit the back when it was yeah kind of crazy vanity dude i've never seen a piston break this bad yeah that's pretty like gnarly. stock or not they, i've never seen one just let go like this. yeah that's crazy yo what's up bro, everyone we got this cleaned up um this engine actually is in really good shape it still has its cross hatching i mean it's it's actually really nice so we have this tore apart uh, don't mind the mess but um that's that head cleaned up um really nice the rocker arm was actually snapped right here so luckily you know nothing was in the pan caught it really soon so i'm glad we didn't try to fire that up um so at this point we're doing a head gasket anyways already have the oem head gasket right here um so at that point you know it'd be really stupid to um use head bolts we're even like contemplating reusing head bolts don't ever do that um we're just dumb enough to where you know we we have those thoughts but, we're in the ultrasonic cleaner right now and you yeah get ready to use them, we right? have a bunch of stuff going on right. like that's all my stuff from the car gavin's turbo integra and yeah my car obviously and we're in the middle of building the mill yeah it's kind of crazy here but um for the most part like everything's cool i just really want to head stud this because i'm 95 percent positive that's what happened to the last engine I'm yeah i'd put 99 on it honestly yeah, it was it, it all makes sense that's the only thing that would make sense yeah so i think we lifted the head um it's a bummer but whatever uh so you know i'm gonna order inline pro head studs because this is a z7 and you know it's like while you're at it might as well it sucks that they're like 250 bucks and I gotta wait. I'm just trying to get the car done. Yo, what's up, everyone? Um, just a little update. We got the engine bolted in. We're gonna run all the accessories and stuff. Um, I haven't really been recording that much because we've been, kind of been working. But uh, we actually had a couple days downtime because we ended up head studying this. I think in the last update, I showed you guys that. So, but overall, this is going pretty smooth and we should have it done. It's Sunday, so we're wrapping up. Uh, should have it rolling around tonight hopefully but yeah well, just a little recap we are good to go on the civic we're back like we never left uh literally just got to throw the wheels on and hopefully this one lasts a little longer yeah thanks for watching um definitely subscribe you know uh, all that stuff because we're hopefully going to be hitting the track with this one day i don't know we'll see